Welcome, welcome, welcome to episode 32 of the show with no name. I'm your humble host, Nick, and today we're going to be exploring another abandoned farmhouse out here in the desert. I like to call this house Lonely House. Let's take a look. Starting out here upstairs in the upstairs bedroom. And there's a couple things I really liked about it right off the bat. Not only did I like how the walls angle into the roof there, but I also enjoyed just how big this room was. It's pretty unique to see a room as big as this in these old farmhouses. They typically built the room small back in these times. But nonetheless, I really enjoyed it. This house is pretty sturdy because as you can see, they used boards. So I think it's going to stay up for a while. A lot, a lot of parts of it. This is something else that I really liked too. I don't know what these are called, but they're not bedrooms, but they're just like little rooms that lead into the bedroom. I just think that's such a cool concept and the way they built this one here, I just thought was awesome. They put the window there and have a closet there and Here's what it looks like going up the stairs. When I was in this house, I was imagining what it would be like to walk upstairs back when it was first built and everything looked new. Bet you this was such a cool place to decorate and chill in. Just such a unique upstairs to a house. You'll never see one quite like that one. The stairs were also surprisingly sturdy. Because of the, the frame of this house is so solid, a lot of things are still in pretty good shape despite all of this house's shortcomings right now. Starting out looking at the downstairs in the bathroom here, or what's left of it. As you can see, this bathroom has definitely seen better days. It was surprisingly small too, but it had a really cool window there. Now here we are in the dining room. I love how they made those old dining room windows like that to light up the room. So spacious down here. That's something else that I really liked about this house. It was a really spacious house. The dining room and the living room, they're both pretty big down here. Old fuse box there. I love these old fuse boxes that they used back in the day. It just reminds me of a simpler, better time. I've also been thinking a lot about those fireplaces in these old houses lately and why they built shelving underneath all of them. 
was there a reason for that or is it just for storage purposes or what here we are in the main downstairs living room here and I have to marvel at that window there that's just incredible Just can't say enough about their window placement back in these days. As you can see, the water starting to ruin the plaster on the walls and on the ceiling here, and it's starting to fall into the living room floor and make quite the mess. Checking out the downstairs bedroom back here. Each bedroom has a nice spacious window right in the middle of it. Just a bunch of miscellaneous items down here. You'll never see a house quite like this. You can definitely see where the wall's starting to fall off there. But wow, that window. I bet you this living room looked amazing back in the day when it was brand new and nicely decorated and I called this house Lonely House because the moment I stepped onto this property, I could just tell that this house really misses having people live in it. Just looked like such a lonely, forgotten little area as I walked into it. Here we are in the kitchen. The ceiling's definitely seen better days but the ceiling usually isn't in good shape in the kitchens. As you can notice right off the bat, the kitchen in here is pretty small and cramped up, and I think it's like that because the dining room's so big. They built some houses like that where the kitchen was small, but that's because they had a dining room where everybody actually sat down and ate. And I love the view from this little window, too. Bet you this was such a nice kitchen when it was first built. See all the water hookups there and old stove. Wish I could see pictures of what this house looked like back in the day. This is the laundry area back here. Got your water hookups and your dryer hose and whatnot. I'm so happy I got to see this house. It's so unique and it's got its own character to it. 
Now, as you can see, the roof there was completely exposed. That's why it's literally snowing in part of the house. Such a cool effect, too, out here in the winter time and the snow and the fog up on these plateaus because it almost feels like you're in your own world out here. You can't see nothing within 30 yards of around your farmhouse out here. And yeah, it's like being in an alternate reality. I thought that was really cool. Well, I hope you enjoy the rest of the videos and the pictures of this awesome, lonely house. Thank you.